truck in the engine compartment, and with part A, inspecting my tractor marker lights. Should be securely mounted, proper color, clean and free of any debris, not cracked, damaged, or broken. Should be working proper. Inspecting my tractor headlights, turn signals, and high beam lights, four way flashers. Should be securely mounted, proper color, clean and free of debris, not cracked, damaged, or broken, and should be working proper. I will check my tractor for any kind of weakness. Moving to the engine compartment. I will inspect all of my hoses in general terms. My hoses should be securely mounted, secured to the caps, or secured to the fittings. The hoses should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. I will inspect my engine oil level. I will remove my engine oil dipstick. Clean it, put it back in and pull it out to check for proper oil level and to make sure that it has no leaks. Air compressor should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, defense, or broken and have no leaks. I will check to make sure it does not have any damaged, broken, or missing bolts. It is gear driven. Inspecting my power steering reservoir. If you forget the name of the item, it should be uh, printed on top of the cap or on the side of the, uh, of the reservoir. Power steering reservoir should be securely mounted. Cap present. Go to the proper level and should have the leaks. I'll follow the hose connected at the bottom of the reservoir in order to find the power steering pump. Power steering pump should be securely mounted. It should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken and have no leaks. The power steering pump is gear driven. My gearbox should be securely mounted. Not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken and have no leaks. It is gear driven. We'll also check to make sure it does not have any damaged, broken, or missing bolts. My leaf spring hanger should be securely mounted. Not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds, no missing bolts. Leaf springs should be securely mounted, one on top of another. Not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, not shifted, no illegal welds. New bolts should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no missing nuts. My shock absorber should be securely mounted at the top and bottom. It should not be cracked damaged, bent, or broken, and have no leaks. My steering linkage should be securely mounted with the castle nut and carter pins here and here. They should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no illegal welds. My brake holes should be securely mounted to my brake chamber, secured to the fi uh, fitting. Right? Correct. Right. Yeah. Secure to the fitting. My brake holes should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. My brake chamber should be securely mounted, secured to the clamp, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no leaks when my brakes are applied. My push rod and slack adjuster should be securely mounted. They should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. My push rod will work when my brakes are engaged. I will check to make sure that I do not have any more than one inch of play with my slack adjuster. My brake lining should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and no less than, uh, than one quarter of an inch thin. Should be clean and free of any debris. The brake drum should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds, clean and free of any debris. Steer tire tread depth should be no less than 432 of an inch. They cannot be recapped, must be brand new. Tire condition should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. Rims should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welts. I will check to make sure all the lug nuts are securely mounted, at least hand tight, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no rust. Hub seal should be securely mounted. Should not have any damage, broken or missing bolts. Cap should be securely mounted, filled to proper level, no leaks. I will check my valve stem. 
the cap should be securely mounted, should not be cut, damaged or frayed, no leaks. I will check my tire pressure with the tire pressure gauge. Proper pressure. Passenger side. Engine cooling reservoir should be securely mounted. At present, to the proper level, no leaks. Alternator should be securely mounted. Should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. It should be working properly. I will check to make sure that the wires inside the alternator and the wires connected to the alternator are properly connected, not cut, damaged, or frayed. My alternator is so good. Water pump should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no leaks. My water pump is belt driven. The belt should be securely mounted, not cut, damaged, or frayed. I will check to make sure that I do not have any more than three quarters of an inch of play with my belt. Back to the driver's side of the truck. We're going to do part B. Part B is from the tractor door hinges to the end of the tractor. Tractor side view mirror should be securely mounted at the top and bottom. Side view mirror should be clean and free of any debris, not cracked, damaged, or broken, no illegal stickers. Driver door should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no holes. With my tractor door open, I'll check everything that I can. My tractor door hinges should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. I will check to make sure that my tractor door handles are securely mounted and not damaged. I will check my rubber sealed door gasket should be securely mounted to my door, not cut, damaged, or frayed. I will check to make sure that my tractor door latch is working properly. I'll close the door and plug on it to make sure. My tractor steps should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. My fuel tank should be securely mounted to the chassis of my truck, secured to the straps, no movement. My fuel tank cap should be securely mounted. My fuel tank should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no leaks from the cap or from the tank. Inspecting the chassis of my truck and my cross member, they should be securely mounted. They should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. Inspecting my fuel joints that are connected to the drive shaft. Fuel joints should be securely mounted, should not be cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no illegal welds, should be clean and free of any debris and properly greased. The drive shaft itself should also be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no illegal welds. With my exhaust, it should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no leaks. If I see that I have a leak with my exhaust, it is possible that I will have a leak into the cabin of my truck. Between part B, these spring hangers should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. Leaf springs should be securely mounted one on top of another, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, not shifted, no illegal welds. The U-bolts should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no, uh, no missing nuts. With the dual brake chambers, they should be securely mounted, secured to the clamps, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no leaks when my brakes are engaged. Push rod and slack adjuster should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. Push rod will work when my brakes are engaged. I will check to make sure that I do not have any more than one inch of play with no more than one inch of play with my slack adjuster. My brake hoses should be securely mounted to my dual brake chamber secured to the fittings. No bubble, no cuts, no leaks. Behind the tires, my brake lining should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no less than one quarter of an inch thin. My brake drum should be securely mounted. Not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. I will check to make sure that the brake drum and brake lining are clean and free of any debris. With the tractor drive tires, 
tractor drive tires should be securely mounted and have the same wear and tear on both tires. Drive tire tread depth should be no less than 232 of an inch. It can be recapped no more than two times. My drive tires are mounted by butt spacing buddy buddy. They should be clean and free of any debris in between. My tire conditions should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. Their rims should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no illegal welds. I will check to make sure that all of the lug nuts are securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, at least hand tight and have no rust. Axle seal should be securely mounted, should not have any damage, broken or missing bolts, should be put to proper level, cap present and have no leaks. I will check the valve stem. Cap should be securely mounted. The valve stem itself should not be cut, damaged or frayed, and have no leaks. I will check my tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge, proper pressure. Back here, behind the drive tire, if you see you have an airbag, you will check it. Airbag should be securely mounted at the top and bottom. The airbag itself should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. If you don't have one, so we won't check it. If you have a shock absorber, you will also inspect it. Shock absorber should be securely mounted at the top and bottom. Should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. No leaks. Since we don't have one, we're not going to check it. Tractor mud flaps should be securely mounted to the chassis of the truck. The mud flaps should not be cracked, damaged, broken, and have no holes. The mud flaps should be off the ground, off my tire, off my train. I should have five to seven feet of space between the mud between the mud flaps and the landing gears. My tractor tail lights should be securely mounted, proper color, clean and free of any debris, not cracked, damaged or broken. Should be working properly, I will be checking my tractor brake lights. Left and right turn signal, four way flashers should all be working properly. We're done with part B of the inspection, moving on to, to the coupling and the fifth wheel. Inspecting my emergency brake holes and my service brake holes should be properly connected to my tractor secured to the fittings and properly connected to my trailer secured to the black pants. My brake hoses should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. My electrical cable should be properly connected to the tractor, properly connected to the trailer and should not have any damage, broken or missing nuts and bolts. My electrical cable should not be cut, damaged, or frayed, and have no exposed or damaged wires. Electrical cable and two brake holes should be properly suspended off the chassis of the truck and the trailer. Moving on to the fifth wheel, my trailer apron should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no holes, no illegal welds. I will check to make sure that I have no gap in between my fifth wheel and trailer apron. The fifth wheel skid plate, the top part of the fifth wheel, should be properly greased. Since I'm connected to the trailer, I can check it. My fifth wheel release arm should be pushed in all the way and have no damage. My fifth wheel platform should be securely mounted to the chassis of the truck. The platform itself should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no illegal welds. I will check to make sure that all of my mounting bolts are securely mounted, not damaged, broken, or missing. Then I will crawl underneath the trailer, looking into the fifth wheel. I will check the trailer kingpin should be securely mounted to the apron of the trailer. The trailer kingpin should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no illegal welds. I will also check my fifth wheel locking jaw. Fifth wheel locking jaw should be secured all around the kingpin. From the left to the right. Not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. No illegal welds. Now we're going to begin with part C of the inspection, which is the front of the trailer to the end. The front of the trailer is known as your header board. Should be securely mounted. Not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. No holes. I will also check to make sure that I do not have any damage, broken or missing ribbons. My trailer is damaged up there and is damaged down here. I will continue. Okay. 
trailer lights are on the side, you're gonna check the trailer clearance lights, trailer marker light if you have one, trailer turn signal if you have one, and trailer ABS light. If you don't have it, you can't check it. Assuming that we have it, I won't check them all. Trailer clearance lights, trailer marker light, trailer turn signal, and trailer ABS light, and marker lights. Should be securely mounted, proper color, clean and free of any debris, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, uh, and working proper. I will check my trailer walls, should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no holes. I will check to make sure that I do not have any damage, broken, or missing rivets. I will also check to make sure that my DOT reflective ticker, sticker is properly mounted to the side of my trailer and it should be clean and free of any debris. My trailer frame should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. Trailer landing gears should be securely mounted to the frame of my trailer. The landing gears should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and should be working properly. I will check to make sure that my landing gear arm and landing gear shoes are securely mounted, not damaged, broken, or missing. I will lower the landing gears down and lift them up to make sure that they are working properly. Moving down to the trailer drive axle. My trailer leaf spring hanger should be properly welded to the frame of the trailer. Leaf spring hanger should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no illegal welds. I will check my torsion bar. It should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, no illegal welds. I will also check to make sure that the leaf springs are securely mounted, one on top of another, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, not shifted, no illegal welds. I will inspect the U-bolts. The U-bolts should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no missing nuts. My brake hoses should be Securely mounted to the dual brake chambers. Secured to the fittings. No bubble, no cuts, no leaks. Dual brake chambers should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken. No leaks when my brakes are applied. The push rod and slack adjuster should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and working properly. My push rod will work when my brakes are engaged, and I will check to make sure that I do not have any more than one inch of play with my slack adjuster. My brake lining should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and no less than one quarter of an inch thin. My brake drum should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, have no illegal welds. I will also check to make sure that the brake drum and brake lining are clean and free of any debris. My trailer drive tires should be securely mounted and have the same wear and tear on both tires. Drive tires should have drive tire tread depth should have should yeah, excuse me. My drive tires tread depth should be no less than 232 of an inch. They can be recapped no more than two times. They are mounted by bud spacing, buddy buddy should be clean and free of any debris in between. My drive tires can be recapped no more than two times and my drive tire conditions should have no bubble, no cuts, no leaks. The rims should be securely mounted, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no illegal welds. I will check to make sure that all the lug nuts are securely mounted, at least hand tight, not cracked, damaged, bent or broken, no rust. I will also inspect the, uh, the axle seal. It should be securely mounted, cap present, fill to proper level, no leaks. securely mounted with the cap. The valve stem itself should not be cut, damaged, or frayed, and have no leaks. I will check my tire pressure with the tire pressure gauge. Proper pressure. 
Trailer mud flaps should be securely mounted to the trailer. The mud flaps themselves should not be cracked and damaged or broken and have no holes. The mud flaps should be off the ground, off the tires. Moving on to the back of the trailer. Trailer marker lights and trailer tail lights should be securely mounted, proper color, clean and free of debris, not cracked, yeah, damaged, bent, cool. or broken. Should be working properly. Trailer door and door latch should be work should be securely mounted. Trailer door should not be cracked, damaged, or broken. No holes. I will open and close my trailer door to make sure that my trailer door and door latch is working properly. Inspecting my trailer trailer bumper. It should be securely mounted with a DOT reflective sticker. It should not be cracked, damaged, bent, or broken, and have no illegal welds. The DOT sticker is not here and needs to be replaced. With the axle seal over here, in August that we have a leak, we need to get it fixed. Any questions? Cool, let's go into the end cap. Jump on the